What is the essence of using your lightning products and you're not going out to the sunscreen? Do you want to burn your skin? What is the essence of going out without using a sunscreen? No matter if you're a dark skin or you're a fresh skin, everybody needs a sunscreen. So Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so so much for tuning in today. If you're just coming across this channel for the first time, hi. My name is Chema Kujizi. I do basically skincare tips, products reviews, and once in a while we also share some DIY tips, okay? So if this is something you love or you are so interested in, you want to sit back and click the subscription button to be what? part of this amazing family is in today's video we are going to be talking on sunscreens i actually waited up to this time to actually review and talk about sunscreens because now hmm, amatan is here already i know how dry it can be and now the sun is going to be at its highest and if you live here in nigeria i don't need to explain to you how the sun here is in Nigeria. Not just Nigeria, I'm sure in other African countries too, they will also witness the same thing too. So this is actually the time you need sunscreen. Please don't misquote me. You all, we need sunscreen for every season, okay? I have actually was selected like my top five from other sunscreen to review, to review here and to also recommend for you. I'm not saying the others are bad, but these are the ones I'm actually familiar with. And I've actually done my research about it. And the most important thing that I actually looked at is their liquidity. That is how they actually look, the texture, and why it's cast. Because I know many people be like, I don't like sunscreen. Like whenever I rub it on my face, it is to make my face white, like a raw paint on your face. But no, this sunscreen that I actually selected for you will not give you a white cast. Hmm? Sunscreen and SPF formulation that has ingredients that help to actually help to do what protect your skin from the sun. Sunscreen helps to do what prevents premature aging, sunburn, tanning. That's why most times, and it actually helps to make sure that you do not get darker. It actually helps to make your skincare products do what to work very very well and very very effectively. Okay, so it is very very important that you add your sunscreen, especially now to your skincare routine. So now the first sunscreen here on my list, this is actually the Misha Aqua Sunscreen with what SPF 50 plus PA++. This one has the combination of what UVA and UVB protection. UVA that has ultraviolet, uh, um, ultraviolet aging rays and um, ultraviolet burning rays. It has the potential. That means if you are applying it on your skin, you don't need to fear oh anti-aging out of it and burning your skin. Your skin is totally going to be what? It's going to be safe and no white cast. It's not going to give you any white cast feeling. And overall, it is so good for all skin type. If you have an oily skin, normal skin, whatever skin type you actually fall in, it's going to be good for your what? Your skin type. So that is the number one here on my list and yes, it is very very affordable I would have actually given you the price, but I just actually inflate from time to time So in my description box, I'm actually going to put the prices for each sunscreen here that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys Okay, the second one is the skin aqua if you've been following me for some time now You know that whenever I actually review products for skincare I always tend to add this particular one the skin aqua sunscreen here because I personally I love this sunscreen because it is so lightweight it's easily absorbed into your skin it's a UV super moisture gel and it's also what sweat proof and what waterproof so even if you are so you don't need to fear even if you sweat you are definitely um, assured that the sunscreen is still going to be on your words on your skin you can apply it and use your makeup on it it is so cool and the most important one they are waiting to hear it doesn't give you a white cast it also does what it also um, offers great sun protection okay that's the second one the third one here on my list is the gavia sunscreen i love the sunscreen a lot but because it is very very affordable and it doesn't give white cast like i personally this is the one i'm actually using now and this gavia sunscreen 
okay i hope you can see it clearly from here all right it is so affordable and it doesn't give a white cast it easily absorbs into the skin also has this broad um, spectrum broad spectrum meaning that it has this it has um, protection for the boat that is the uva and the uvb protection and it says here yeah, some block for excellent protection against radiation uva and uvb rays with vitamin c water resistance so even if you are sweating <laughs> you are sure that your sunscreen is still gonna be on your face okay and it has xpf 50 this one is also a must have and it is very very what affordable these sunscreens that i'm actually reviewing for you i seems i wanted to say that before they are also very very what moisturizing so the fourth sunscreen here on my list is the what the Hotomogi moisturizing milky gel i don't know if i'm getting that pronunciation correctly the Hotomogi, whatever so it's also moisturizing it also gives some protection it's, it has an x it also has the spf rating of what 50. this one it says to actually do what brighten up your complexion and also do what prevent the formation of what pimples because that's what most people are scared of they feel like when they use product like this they'll start having rashes or pimples on your face but no when you use this type of product you're definitely sure that you're not going to have like pimples or rashes appearing or coming out from your face okay definitely you're sure your skin is going to be protected from the what from the uva rays and from the uvb rays and it does not give a what a white cast feeling okay so the last one screen here on my list is the word sun cut uv perfect gel this sunscreen here too is also one in a million kind of sunscreen too it is also a japanese product the liquidity is top notch though it's a bit watery but it's still moisturizing it doesn't really give you a greasy feeling it's also very very easy to apply on your skin and it is also what's waterproof and sweat resistant so even if you are sweating like i said earlier you'll see that your sunscreen is still going to be on your face so it is also very very affordable and it has an spf rating of 50 so these are the five um sunscreens here on my list here that i'm going to recommend for you actually this season to actually use do not say oh the lotion i'm using has spf 20 or my face cream has spf 20 please don't let them deceive you it's not really going to be enough plus also infuse other products that could actually make the protection not really really effective it's good that you combine your products even in the right spf 10 or 15 in it it's almost always good you combine your product your skincare product with an spf with an spf product you know if you want to apply your um, sunscreen all what you just need to do is two finger spread then you apply it on your skin don't just press it and just apply it like that no just two finger spread like this like this then you apply it on your face if you ask me okay how do i now use it how we where will the sunscreen come in in my skincare routine normal level after washing your face you're cleansing toning then moisturizing sunscreen is actually the last thing you put on your face before you go out okay but this sunscreen that i just reviewed for you here are very very moisturizing so and they do not give white casts i've been a victim of using sun like sunscreens that have white actually these these sun these these are sunscreen i use like no, no matter the amount of application that you use your face is still going to look white and here in africa and you're a dark person you cannot go around looking white like that so you need something that will actually absorb like looking at me now I actually apply sunscreen on my face and my face is not looking like white so this is it here but after applying it see Look at just one rub. You see, it has absorbed into my skin. So you're not going to be scared of oh, it's going to give me white cast. All the sunscreens that I recommended for you today will not give you um, a white cast. Okay. So guys, that will be all for now. So please make sure you are using a sunscreen. I already showed you the one I'm already using. This giver, like, it's so so important. 
if you really want to keep like if you really want to up up your skincare game and you don't want to have issues of oh you're having tanning burning on your skin or even aging you really if you really want your skincare product to work effectively and especially if you are using a lightning product please make sure that you're using a sunscreen even if you're a dark skin please do not say i'm dark skin. i don't need it you need it a lot we all need it so please make sure that you do what you use a sunscreen this season okay that's gonna be all for today's video thank you guys so so much for tuning in thank you for the consistent support god bless you a lot if you have any questions put it down in your comment section i'm going to be there to answer you and if you've used any sunscreen any of this one come down there and also share your review of the product here so that we can also do what talk about it too and if you are using anyone that I did not really mention, come down to the comment section and I'll do what, share your review. And until then, I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.